This video will demonstrate how to track interpreter data in Excel for data reporting due June 30th in ISTAR. First, visit the Harrisburg Project website. Look under Hot Topics and click Interpreter Data Tracking Log. Click on the Excel download to open. To begin editing the document, click Enable Editing and be sure to save it in a safe location on your computer. Throughout the school year, enter data as special ed meetings are held where parents are present. At the end of the school year, but before June 30th, the data can be filtered and tallied in this Excel document for ISTAR data entry and reporting. To get started on Part 1A, filter by the school name. Next, filter by language if necessary. The count of Y's in column E will be transferred to the first field on part 1 in ISTAR. The count of Y's in column F will be transferred to the second field on part 1 in ISTAR. Note as well that G and H are both zeros. Once all meetings have been completed for the school year, you are ready to start logging the interpreter data in ISTAR. Click Interpreter Data Collection on the landing page. In the drop-down, select your resident district. If you are a co-op, you can select the resident district that you are currently working on. Select the resident school from the drop-down. Now select the language for reporting. Since the count of column E is 4 in the spreadsheet, enter the number 4 in the first field. Column F was also 4 in the spreadsheet, so now we will enter the number 4 in the second field. Columns G and H are zero in our example of the spreadsheet. Enter zeros in the final two fields for part one. Don't click add just yet. Go back to your spreadsheet and change to tab part 2A. Filter the school name field again by Harrisburg High School. In this example, there are four meetings with Spanish translations. The count of Y's in column E will be transferred to the first field on part 2A in ISTAR. The count of Y's in column F will be transferred to the second field on part 2A in ISTAR. Now we will go ahead and transfer that data over. Back to our spreadsheet, the count of Y's in column G will be transferred to the third field on part 2A in ISTAR. The count and total in column H will be used to determine the average number of days taken to provide translations if not provided at the meeting. If there are days in column H, the sum of total H will be divided by the count of students in column H. Enter the count of Y's in column G into the third field on part 2A. If the fourth field is not zero, Enter the quotient from the column H calculation previously defined. Next, we will move on to part 2B. 
To track and report this final piece of data for the school, click on the Part 2B tab. Once again, sort by the school name and the language if necessary. The count of Y's in column E will be transferred to the first field on Part 2B in ISTAR. The count of Y's in column F will be transferred to the second field on Part 2B in ISTAR. Next, the count of Y's in column G will be transferred to the third field on Part 2B in ISTAR. If there are days in column H, the sum of total H will be divided by the count of students in column H. Enter the count of column G into the third field on Part 2B. If the fourth and final field is not zero, enter the quotient from the column H calculation previously defined. Repeat this entire process for each school and language combination. On the last school language data collection page, click I am done reporting to let ISBE know you have completed the reporting requirement. For questions on interpreter data tracking, please contact Harrisburg Project at 1-800-635-5274 or email us at support at hbug.k12.il.us.